Well, hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jay, and today we are checking out the new Golden Ratio Compressor by Crazy Tube Circuits. Well, ladies and gentlemen, getting lost in the world of compression. Oh, I love doing that because there are just so many different styles of compression and each one has its own unique way of squeezing that sound, which leads to its own unique characteristics, its own unique strengths. And I guess when you find just the perfect compressor and match it with the perfect application, you just find that right pairing. Oh my gosh, magic always comes out of your speakers. So. What I have on the bench today is the Golden Ratio. This is the updated version to the original by Crazy Tube Circuits. Uh, this is a little bit smaller, but more importantly, if you look at this pedal, this is not just one compressor, but actually three different styles of compressor. There's an FET compressor and an optical compressor, just like the original version, but this one also adds an OTA for even more variety and even more sound. So. What I'm going to do today, I'm gonna to get my Fender Telecaster with my J-Mod signature pickups by Tone Specific and String Joy Strings. I'm gonna plug it into a Tone King Imperial and I'm gonna break down these three different styles of compressors, show you what their strengths are, what I would use them for, and you could really start seeing exactly what magic lies in the world of compression. Let's dig in. <laughs> Right now, the pedal is set to 18 volts. You could only use a nine volt adapter with it, but there is a charge pump. So if you choose to, you can have it at 18 volts for a little bit more headroom, a little bit more fidelity. Those both sound nice to me. Really standard layout here with the knobs, release attack threshold ratio and the clean blend. You'll see that in a lot of detailed style compressors. So what I'm going to do today instead is I'm gonna go through the three different types of compressors. I'm gonna tell you when I would use them and settings I like to use when I'm on them. So let's start with optical. Optical, if you're the cat that really wants your compressor to be just more of a tone fattener, something to richen out your tone, really bring out that attack in a nice way, nice and even and smooth. Oh, I think you're gonna like an optical compressor. It doesn't get in your face like other compressors. It just brings out the wood in your guitar. What I like to do, set the ratio low, and I like to have the attack and the release pretty slow. Let that photo cell breathe a little bit. Let's go hear what's going on here. This is just a guitar. And this is the golden ratio. Mm, if you uh, want to get that amp sound, say you have a solid state amp and you want that feel, that's that's how you're gonna get it. It gets that nice little feeling of, you know, the sound of the, the power capacitors filling up and discharging and trying to keep up with your attack. It's that kind of feel to it. And uh, if you can't really bring your tube amp to the level you want where it starts compressing, this is a good way to 
get it in there, keep the volume low and get the touch. It's so nice. It's also really wonderful to use an optical compressor with an acoustic guitar. I find that the natural response of it, uh, it adds a little bit more energy to the acoustic without taking away uh, that natural resonance of the instrument. This is just the acoustic guitar. And this is the golden ratio. When I think FET compressors, I think of, I guess like everyone else, the 1176, they're alive. There is an electricity that when you get the attack pretty quick, it has this nice little, I wanna say like a grittiness to it, a nice, I don't know what it is. Something in the transient just really makes it sound right in your face, beautiful and just expressive and fun. Really, really fun compressor to use and you're feeling it when you're hitting it. So what I like to do, let's make that ratio go up a little bit more, make the attack, uh, pretty slow so I, I could get that grit going on. Let's bring the release just a touch down and play around. This is the FET compressor. <laughs> Another great use of an FET compressor, it's with bass guitar. I find that the alive feel of those kind of compressors really complements the bass, which can sometimes get lost in the muddiness of the low end. It keeps things nice and present. You can hear the articulations nice and clearly. This is the bass. <laughs> And this is the golden ratio. Well, if you've ever played a compressor with two knobs on it before, chances are it was based on an OTA compressor. Ross, the MXR Dynacomp, you're looking at Keeley compressor, Wampler compressor, they're all based on that wonderful sound, that squish, that classic compressor. A little bit rounded off in the top end and the nice squish in the attack. Let's hear what we got going on here. Mm -hmm. 
I like to set the ratio really high, get the attack pretty quick, and I'm gonna bring up the release a touch. One big trend I've been seeing with a lot of boutique makers lately is the OTA compressor paired with a clean blend because they really complement each other very well. The OTA, quite a colored sound. You really hear something happening. So adding a clean blend really gives you all the wonderful characteristics of compression, but bringing a little bit of that natural tone back. And that is the Golden Ratio Compressor by Crazy Tube Circuits. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Golden Ratio or Phi uh, Compressor, uh, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, supported by the Patreon supporters, and all my demos, tutorials, lessons, they're right here on YouTube. My question for the subscribers is, what kind of compressor or kind of compression type are you most into that you like to use with your guitar? Do you like using VCA or OTA, FET? Let me know. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say and why. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.